Hello and welcome. I'm Tim, and most of my life I've been dreaming about someday sailing around the world. Although I come from a background of being a professional mariner, I know very little about sailing. So uh, maybe you want to come with me and uh, see how we do and uh, learn as we go. And right now in this series, we're getting ready to, uh, well, we are in the midst of making a 1,500-mile ocean passage from New England down to Puerto Rico. So welcome aboard and come on with us. Hope you like and subscribe. At the light, turn right onto Bay Street. Then turn left onto <laughs> Court Street. Another woman telling me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's uh, seven and seven thirty-five Wednesday morning, and uh, Rick has shown up with the rental car. There's Rick. Say hi, Rick. Hi, Rick. <laughs> Runa's back there, as hey you guys. can see. I've got stuff between turn left onto Court Street. Between, between my feet turn. over here, Runa's loaded in there. The, the the trunk is loaded with food and goodies and all kinds of stuff. And uh, we are headed to, um, apparently uh, Ian is going to be meeting us at the boat. He should be there before we are. But uh, it says that we have uh, six and a half hours to go. And that doesn't include all the times we've got to stop to eat. <laughs> anyway, just checking it. So it's just about noon. We finally, Rick finally stopped and pulled over and let us eat breakfast. Runa's uh, zoning out in the back. How you doing, Rick? Doing good. So far, so good. Three hours to go. We've received word that Ian has already made it to the boat. So hopefully he hasn't broken too many things by the time we get there. Hey! <laughs> we, we didn't know. Ian didn't tell me they moved the boat. We thought Ian stole it. Oh, they moved the boat? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, Tim. Weston! I was on my bike. I saw him ride by. All right. And you met, met Ian. Good deal. Can I? Can I? Hey. Look at that. Oh, you got the beer. So, I got, some, I got some good footage for you. Good. I, well, I don't. But the end of that dock there got destroyed in the in the last in the last go round. Good God! I got that big um, I mean, tide of all time. We had serious. Uh, really? Is that right? Everybody here was underwater. Yeah. I mean, we swear the the boats were rock coming apparently. Weston, you're not going anywhere, are you? Yeah. Good, 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 good. I did. I'm not trying to be short with you. No, I just no, no, no. <laughs> cool. Good, good, good. Stick around. Wow, look at that. Yeah, he says he's seven. I walked down here, I'm like, oh shit, maybe I was the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, well, that, it was, that's, where, that's where it was supposed to be. It's not where we left it. We got some... We got some... Uh, okay news and some... <laughs> Alright, so we made it to the boat. We've got everything on there. We're uh, packing up the freezer and uh, getting everything else. And we open up. If you notice, we're all drinking different lists, different stuff. So uh, feel free to write in the comments what you think about all of us <laughs> drinking what we're drinking. Sorry. What does that mean? <laughs> the only thing that counts. <laughs> I didn't realize I was bringing my mother. <laughs> Skull boy. Skull. Skull. Salud. All right. Peace be with you. Good morning from Deltaville, Virginia. Well, we made it down last night. Had a good time. And, uh, we were all kind of uh, reeling from the news that we had gotten from our weather router. We really, all of us really wanted to go, but uh, you know, that's if you're going to pay a professional to 
you don't pay him to agree with you, you pay him to, for his knowledge. And uh, he said, don't go, and we didn't go. So we are here, and that gives us time to uh, get the boat ready. We still have some shopping to do, and we want to have go through our safety meetings, and we want to go through different systems and kind of get stowed away, make the boat ready for sea. I think i got to get new fuel. Uh, I've got fuel for the boat, but I need to get a fresh gas. They have uh, non-ethanol gas here at the marina, which is something we don't have up north. So uh, that's kind of cool. I want to uh, I want to see about filling up as much of that as I can. I've got some uh, sea foam that I add to it just to be on the safe side. But those are the things that we have to do. We'll get everything ready, and uh, it's going to be great. I got up at uh, 5.30 and was tiptoeing around, all the two guys sleeping in the salon, one on each side of the settee, and Rick in the back cabin started making coffee. I thought everyone was going to sleep in, and I guess I thought I made too much noise. I figured everyone started getting up. I thought maybe I woke everybody up. Then I remembered we went to bed last night at like 8 o'clock at night, so <laughs> I think we're all really well rested. The good news is that uh, while I, while we were sleeping, we got another uh, update from Chris Parker, our weather guy, and uh, he says that things have changed, the models have changed, and that although it's going to be a very sporty ride, uh, if we get out of here early tomorrow morning, this by incidentally is Thursday morning, so... Uh, if we get out of here by tomorrow morning, like 6 o'clock in the morning, and we get as quick as we can, we're going to have to motor quite a way for the beginning um, with the wind right in our teeth, but then get on the other side of the Gulf Stream by Saturday at 6, sundown on Saturday, things get really ugly out there. Uh, they're talking about seas 10 feet and higher, and uh, we, we want to be away from all that. So if we can do all that, we get on the other side of this front, and uh, it should be pretty good from there on in. So as today goes on, more models will come out, and we'll figure out more that we're going to do. But uh, it, as it stands right now, it looks like tomorrow morning, this time tomorrow morning, we should be off and going. So uh, that's where we're at right now. Check in with you guys later. So apparently right before Halloween, there was a big storm that came through while we were at work, or while I was at work anyway. My boat I had left at another dock and they had brought it over here. The marina had brought it over here. And I guess this little hole, hidey hole over here is good except for the wind that comes over that way. It hardly ever does, but I guess it did then. And uh, I came back, nobody told me anything. I guess the marina wanted me to find out myself. But I came back to find out that they had, I guess, the second highest tide they've had in 25 years or something like that. But look at this. See how this got scraped up? Look at all that. All on the side of my boat. So what does that mean? Well, that means, if you look, it doesn't look pretty. I haven't cleaned up the rope and all that. I mean, the, the rope, the, the sawdust. You can see where there's some... Uh, that's just some of the cell coat that had come off before. That has nothing to do with this. But it doesn't look like there's any damage on the boat at all. So I guess if you say, if we look at this, and we look at this, we say Deltaville Marina, zero. Island Packet, one. So that's good. We did get a little bit of rub over here. See, these fenders weren't put the, they were put this way because, say, I didn't bring the boat over here. They set it up, but anyway, it doesn't look like it's uh, really bad. It looks like I'm missing a couple screws right there. I'm just noticing that now. I don't know how long that's been there. Maybe that's been there like that forever. I don't know. It doesn't look like there's any... See, it rubbed a little bit there. That's not the end of the world. That line's a little chafed up, but it's not mine. But like, look, look at that. Look how it went up and down on this. That's some substantial rubbing. That is incredible. Very. I'm not as pleased that it happened, but I'm very pleased that there's so little damage done to the boat. And uh, doesn't look like I was the only one who uh, suffered over here. Coming to the end of the dock here, and uh, I don't know if the dock always went down like this. Well try it, see if I fall in, make for a good video, but they stopped here, 
you can see this whole dock got all tore up with this really high tide and the wind blowing like it was so I don't know if there was somebody over here or not I don't know, really know how that all worked out but I guess it was pretty nasty so all in all I guess I'm pretty lucky that things happened the way they did and we didn't get too much damage or no damage really at all to speak of so I'm uh, pretty proud of that so anyway we've got the grub all the grub that we brought with us is all stowed now and now we're gonna go off and do some of the perishables and another run to West Marine and getting a little ready for looks like hopefully if everything goes right be out of here tomorrow later that night we had our safety meeting we kind of conducted this just like I do on the tugboats here we went over things that we needed to be familiar with and uh, you know we're not a crew that works together all the time and some of the guys hadn't been on this boat as long as I have and I certainly could always brush up on this sort of stuff so we went over some what if scenarios but at this time it's really important that I uh, give a special shout out and thank you to Fred Matera the executive director of the Commercial Fisheries Center of Rhode Island he was kind enough he's, he's a longtime friend of right. my brother's and uh, my yeah. brother reached out to him and uh, asked him if we could borrow four Gumby or what we call exposure suits you know we call them Gumby suits but they're exposure suits survival suits and other things people call them anyway um, he lent us four and uh, it was really cool we had everyone don them and try them out not everybody in, our, in this crew was as uh, familiar as we are on the tugboat of putting these on and once again it's kind of like insurance you hope you never need it but if you do need it we're really glad to have them but thank you so much Fred I really Really appreciate it. Okay, after a delay, we got up at five o'clock and saw that Chris Parker, our weather router, said, "Hey, you guys can sleep in. Uh, might as well leave a little later, so you don't just keep taking it in the teeth. Um, the wind's going to drop out later, and so uh, go ahead and do your thing." So we've had a big breakfast, and uh, we've got everything ready. We're singling up lines right now and uh, getting ready to go. Rick is uh, wiping the windows. Bruna. And Ian are getting me down to one line. And uh, looks like we've got our route in here. Looking at, if we followed the route directly, we're from here we're only looking at 1,288 miles to go. But we're, we won't be able to do that because we have to alter off the course for, for wind and current and that sort of stuff. All right, let me uh, stop this and do something else. Alright, so it's 1036. The boys are discussing global warming and, and other political things. Um, they're only talking about politics because I told them that we were done talking about religion. <laughs> anyway, we've gone 16.8 uh, miles so far and uh, the water temperature is 62 degrees and we've got 1269 miles to go. But the big news is, if you see Runa over here, he is the, uh, the I, th I think he was billed to me as the sail trim expert. And so as we were supposed to, the weather guy told us that we were going to be motoring until Saturday. Runa said, nope, let's put it up. So we put up the main, and we've got 15.7 apparent. And uh, if you can see, we're right about 30. Well, it should say here the wind angle. Uh, yeah, about 30 degrees, 31, 35 degrees of wind angle. So I don't know that we're getting much out of it other than stiffening up the ride. And so that's always good. But anyway, you guys, you didn't have to stop your uh, discussion just because I'm doing it. I was hoping to get some raw audio on oh, there. We're eating Patty's cookies. We're eating Patty's cookies. So. Yeah, I don't want it. Oh, and, and you know, Party just, one bottle. <laughs> just, just so you don't think that uh, we're going to get too thirsty, it is, as I said, 10.37 in the morning, and we've already killed one bottle of wine. <laughs> when I say we, I really mean them. Of course, I would never partake in such not. debauchery. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm also, uh, we got beef stew that uh, is stewing down below and the smell is making us all very hungry but we can't eat it until tonight so we'll check in with you later all right dinner time in the dark in the dark how we doing Ian we're heading that way we've got uh
right. You don't have a light here besides the car. 82 miles to go to our entry point for the Gulf Stream. <laughs> nice. We should be there. Actually, this is showing us 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Oh, nice. Hey. What are you eating, Rick? Beef stew. Runa, is it any good? Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> Made by our fabulous I chef. I steer the boat. <laughs> he steers the boat. He has he's, he has to steer the boat. He hasn't been able to eat his yet. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Good morning. Nope. Oh, turn the music off. It's gonna get loud for a second. <laughs> Gotta yell down to those guys so they shut the music off here. It goes down below. Anyway, good morning. It is uh, Saturday the 13th. Uh, let's see, about 6:25 in the morning. And the good news is we've turned east to cut through the Gulf Stream. So uh, right now we're looking at 77.7 uh, .7 degrees for the water temperature, and we've gone from 100 and some or 200 feet, 100 some feet up to uh, 400. And 72 feet and it's dropping off all the time as we we've just entered we're entering into the Gulf Stream right now and uh, the good news is that we only have about three knots of wind and so we are motoring across the Gulf Stream and we need to get to the other side before the Sun goes down but I think we're way ahead of schedule we're making about uh, 7.3 7.4 knots and uh, that's over ground so I'm pretty happy with that and it says distance to the next waypoint is 26 miles. So by three, almost four o'clock this afternoon, we should start getting to the edge of the Gulf Stream. Had a good night. It was the first night for the everyone pulling their watches, and uh, seems like everybody made it just fine. Got up this morning and uh, made some coffee and some fresh muffins. The other crew ate the muffins, and off to bed they went. But uh, anyway, things are shaping up. Spirits are high. Everybody's uh, it, the 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 sea seems to be less confused, or maybe it's because of the angle that we've changed at. And then it's also early too. Once we get into the stream, things could get a little interesting as things time goes by. But we'll see how that goes. The boat's running really well. We're only running at 2,200 RPM. And uh, last time before I went to bed, I checked. We we're down to 15 sixteenths of a tank of fuel. Did you find it? I haven't, I haven't little, nobody told me, is it down here? I think so. Alright, so Ricky's telling me where the, uh, the hand line is. So we, we drag a hand line and uh, try to get some fish in the Gulf Stream. We'll be sure that all the fish stay away from us because we haven't had any luck on this boat because uh, Ricky's the only self-proclaimed self fisherman on board, but uh, he's been fishing, he just hasn't been catching. So. While he goes to bed, we're going to see if we can uh, put him to shame. <laughs> anyway, it was a, like I say, it was a little sporty night, a little cold, but what was kind of cool is I think the moon is waxing right now. So, on our watch, the moon was up and it was beautiful. And uh, when I got up this morning at 5 to start making muffins for everybody, I looked out and it was very dark. And the very dark is nice because you can see all the stars. You know, we don't have any... Uh, light coming from shore because uh, we're kind of out there now so it's kind of cool and uh, things are shaping up pretty well very excited it's a new day and uh, all excited give you one pan pan around
<laughs> yeah, good point. It's on. Okay. See the fish? Yeah, I just saw it. I'll say mahi mahi. As long as it's dinner. Oh, we gotta get the bucket too. What? I gotta get, we gotta put the fish somewhere, so we gotta put it in the bucket. Oh, it is a mahi. It's a small one, but it's a mahi. Then we want a small one. Yeah. yeah. Here, pop that. Did he just go up? Yeah. Ah. Oh, <laughs> Damn it, Runa! Well. You alright, Rick? Yeah! <laughs> All that work right there! Did it pop the line? Right, right. Oh, I think it's gonna rip down. Uh, it's bouncing off the water. Oh. Yeah, and it's through the hook. We should have that with Hey, you want me to find it for you? Walk. For a second. I'll turn it around and just sit there. The sailfish jumping out of water. You can do it, Ricky. You can do I it. Pull that line in here. <laughs> well, we lost him the last time. Yeah, right. yeah, <laughs> oh, right. you're going around the circle, aren't you? <laughs> he's at, he's at do you still have him, Rick? I still have him. But you, you do still have them? Oh, yeah. You see, if, if you were taking that... There you go. Oh, do I got a fucking talk? 
us again! <laughs> oh, watch your feet. So that means he's going to pull in on that line. So Ricky, yeah. watch, watch out. The line's no, no, no. going to... It's fine. Ricky's not. We're going to be on that other tack. Watch this. Watch oh, this. I'll show you. All right, so look, Tim. Yeah, i got to let this line go. Oh. Don't do nothing. Don't touch nothing. Don't. Watch. What I did is I turned the wheel. Yeah. I turned I, I had the wheel locked in. Yeah, yeah. To starboard. Yeah. I bring the wheel around to port. Yeah. Just watch your heads. We're going to dive around. That's going to push us around. Yeah. It takes a moment. All right, that's all that's off. And then what's going to happen is it's going to fill up from the other side. Oh, it pushes. See that? Yeah, yeah. All right, it's going to start catching it. See how it's starting to fill? All right. We're going to get a little bit of boat speed. We're going to do basically like a 270 and end up in that same direction for us. Okay. Yeah, you're going to do a 270. 270, bro. Pay it out. Watch the, Pay it watch out. the jump. There you go. There it goes. Nice. Now we're through the jive. And what will happen is we'll fill it up and we'll go out this way. For a little bit until we get reset. Are we going the wrong way? No. Because <laughs> we want to go anyway a little bit because we got to get into the good current, which is over on that side of the, of the line. It's on the east, uh, the west side of the magenta line is where the good current is. I don't Where's know, this is where all the fish are. <laughs> I don't see any magenta line. Uh, There's no magenta line out here. Any so I really hope you liked that video. This is uh, one of a series of us going to Puerto Rico, as you probably could tell. Uh, we have a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun on the trip, and uh, I think in the next videos you might see some dolphins before the uh, weather really starts to get bad. And uh, stick around. Hopefully, this is something that you'll want to watch, and uh, maybe you consider subscribing. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments below. And I usually try to respond to everybody as quickly as I can. And uh, maybe give a link, uh, give a give a thumbs up, and. Uh, get our content out to more people. Really appreciate you guys watching and as always, I see you on the one.